Hello again. We are in the round three, and we're gonna go to immediately to playthrough. Let's go to auction phase. So Thomas gonna bid that one. And looking here, I don't see any cards that are good for me. So maybe I don't wanna bid too much. So I'm gonna check something. Uh, I'm gonna just bid Congo by to get the card. I'm probably not gonna beat Automa, but yeah, of course. So it's gonna go first. It's looking for the spacing guild, nothing. So it's going from the top of the deck. Oh, find one. And uh, I'm also thinking to maybe go from the top of the deck. Although this one is pretty good card, the Chani. But I didn't collect any Emperor cards, that's the problem. But this one is good, and I also have this token so I can activate it. I think I'm gonna take Chani for now. And oh, by the way, before I take Chani, I forgot maybe Automa is gonna discard some cards. Oh, yeah, it's actually gonna discard Chani, so <laughs> I wouldn't be able to take that one. Alright, well, then change of plans. We're gonna take whatever is on the top of the deck facing guilt them all right so sending an agent starting with automa automa will want to go here first so let's see can it go oh, oh it's going to be reshuffle all right it's going to play can it have a sword master in the fight? Oh, yep, it can go here. Now this second icon means if it doesn't have a sword master, you put it on the f uh, on any conflict where it's gonna get a troop. Well, so in this case, maybe it's not gonna go here. I think it's gonna go here because that's a conflict where you're actually gonna get some troops in so yeah no token though but there is one troop there and it's in the conflict all right what do i want to do well i might forfeit this conflict and focus here to be honest because this could be four points for me uh, so let me see I have lots of I don't have lots of spice I do I do want to send maybe mentat so I would want to go here and I might as well burn this. Actually, let me see. Let's do the space navigator and go to the blue spot here using a method. So I can get one card from a discard pile. This is not bad one, so I'm gonna take this. I can send up to two troops from my garrison, but I do not have any. That could be a problematic thing. But that's okay. Technically, I'm still in that conflict, even without the troops, because things might change. Uh, I will get three card choose one player to randomly discard one card from his hand out of the game this cannot be used on automa so it's completely useless blood card right now but since i use the method i'm gonna go here so let's do this and i'm gonna buy some troops which oh yeah well since I'm in the conflict, I could, if I buy these troops, they're gonna go Gordonism, but I can send up to two. Actually, I can send all four in the, in the conflict. But the question is, do I also want to take this and maybe push myself forward a bit? Uh, 
let's let's use troops so i need to pay three so i'm going to combine this one and a two actually i'm going to keep this uh these two i'm gonna minus three political power and three solaris so get two back then i get four troops and since i'm in the conflict here i can send them in the conflict that's perfect all right so now i have some troops there that's good planning all right auction again Toma, i'm actually not gonna go to auction so let's see how toma is gonna look for any facing guild no so it takes one from the top and this card's number two. So now it's gonna send two uh, agents. I mean, one for me, then I'm gonna send one, then it's gonna send another one because I have two in my hand. They always send the no same number of agent as as you have in your hand. All right. So let's see. And the first thing they it's gonna go want to go. Uh, it's here again because that's what it wants. Is there a mental space that a conflict space? No, there is this space but already filled in, so it cannot go there. Then it's gonna check where I'm already have banners. Uh, oh, there is a mental space here, so it's gonna go there. I send one troop. And. Uh, it's also going to get this token. It's going to push it forward once. All right. So it's here in this conflict. Well, I might want to try to defend there and defend there because placing here or here banner would be get me a new card. So I can send a spy here if I have a correct icon and I have I have a house accusation but I want to keep that actually let's let's do a space liner that's why I actually actually get get the got that card so I'm gonna send a spy here and I get I can get a troop or another agent from exhausted back into my hand I'm actually gonna go for the troop I'm gonna put it here then I'm going to put three more. And I don't have a spice to put the other three. But since I play a spy, I can take from a faction token from a player or from a faction. I, so I can take even Thomas once. You know what? This might be our last round. So I'm going to take this one. Because at the end of the game, it's going to work three points so that's three points if i if i manage to place another banner here or here because that's going to be the end game all right now automa it's gonna send someone so first it's gonna go here oh no it's gonna be the shuffle another shuffle wow okay is there a sword master place combat but no troops is there a it does but it's gonna look for a... other space no sword master oh actually there is a sword master here okay so it's gonna get another troop inside and I'm gonna take a token I'm gonna push it here Okay, interesting. All right, I still have my sword master, and I think if I attack here, I'm probably gonna take that location. So I will play my house mentat and send my sword master here. Uh, I will get one card from a discard pile, doesn't really matter, I can take this one and i will get two troops in a garrison which i'm gonna send into combat instead 
So I'm in the conflict also there. And I will get one entry card from this. It's something good. Oh, good ambush. So that could help a lot during this round. All right. That is that. We send all the agents. We were here. Sorry. Then now we are conflict resolution phase. So here I'm alone in the conflict. So I'm just gonna get a little. Uh, Banner there. Ooh, I will not be able to move the banner if I have to. That's not good. All right, we have a conflict here, and but Automa first player is gonna play a combat card. Gonna kill only one of my troops. Well, that's good because I do have a ambush. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna kill one of those, and I can put one back. So that's gonna win me conflict here so that's another banner but i do not have free banners and i do not have any uh, how it's called uh, political power to maybe move a banner from here back so i can place it maybe here so i i have a problem i cannot place banner here even if i win a conflict but that's okay that's okay i think i i do have a third one so it's gonna be okay all right here i don't have any combat cards so let's see how tom is gonna play this oh actually it's gonna reshuffle wait reshuffle all the cards that it gets okay so it's gonna kill all my troops so i will lose this anyway any anyway so this go back Toma place one banner here. But let's do a cleanup. I think uh, this token, we're not going to return it because it could be points, but it's not for the Automa, so we're going to return it. So with the second banner here and winning this location back I will put all my cards here this card uh let me see so that's a third location I also get oh we were both in this conflict okay so I will get a point automa can get a intrigue or a spice uh, doesn't really matter because it will not get any points for any any of these I can I can give you intrigue, that's only matter right now. Alright. So it is time to It is the end game, so last round. I have a uh, three locations, that's what, what the end ends the game. So I'm gonna first calculate my points and then we're gonna calculate the automa points. No more rounds. Alright, so first let's uh, let's do this properly. Let me get my little calculator. So I have, um, so I was collecting location with the Emperor banner. I don't have any of those. So just straight numbers on that. Two, four, six, seven, eight. So I have eight points in locations. Uh, plot cards, nothing I might as well discard that. Alright, for me, uh, if we tied up in the points, the tiebreaker is spiced, the second is Solari, but it might not tied up. But I don't get any points from, from uh, Spice and Solari. I don't actually get points for those, but we'll, you'll see when I get there. Alright, now we're going to check every three political power combine from the emperor cards gonna give me a point so i'm looking for the emperor cards and i think i have few here it is wow only two all right so two and a three and five and here i managed to collect two more so that's a seven 
when we split that by three i'm gonna get two points there not a large amount of points and then three points for every token of the emperor i have so additional three points there so my final score is 13 points not much as i expected but i think i did better than automa so let's see let's calculate the location so automa only have two points in the locations uh it doesn't have any tokens so no points there so only through cards oh by the way there are some points here too for the automa uh managed to gather one so so this is three and then we are looking for spacing guild cards for the automa Oh, it has there's lots of them actually they're pretty big for so three and a five eight ten fourteen plus sixteen eighteen twenty twenty three now oh, one more point would be good so it's actually got seven points on the cards And I think that's all. Oh yeah, spice and solari. For spice, it's not gonna get anything. Let's check how much for solari. Uh, so every four, five solari is also point for automa. So one more. Automa managed to score eleven points in total. So I won by two points difference, which is not good but good enough i was i was lucky with, with some cards that Tom actually drew it wasn't really good for for automa to gather locations all right so that is the game i think everything that could happen in the game happened you could see how it plays uh, of course it's much interested with playing with other players uh because you know they much better and <laughs> making some intrigues and moves and all kind of stuff but as you can see it's a really nice uh, card game it doesn't take long to play i mean if you know what you're doing uh, might play actually less might take less time to play the dune imperium or dune or uprising and it has that little feel of you know doing lots of stuff on your turn and making combos and stuff like that so thank you for watching uh i might make some other videos of this game later on we'll see if i find some people that are willing to be recorded <laughs> so we can play like live with against the people but in any case uh i'm gonna place this in steam workshop so you can also play it with your friend and if you have any question you can ask on the comment section or under the on the su subscription section on the tabletop simulator mod there is also possibility to ask question there about the rules if you have it so that's it then see you next time i guess goodbye